اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دیر سٹرنرز وی ڈیڈ دا فرسٹ فائیو کوشچن ان اور پریویس ویڈیو سو وی ویل سٹارٹ فرام کوشچن سکس چیپٹر نائن ایسڈ اینڈ الکلیز فلنگ دی بلین فلنگ دی گیپس ان دا ٹیبل بلو یوزنگ دا فالوئنگ ورڈس گرین ہائیڈروکلورک ایسڈ لیمونیڈ ریڈ سوڈیم ہائیڈروکسائڈ پی ایچ تھری پی ایچ سیون اینڈ پی ایچ فورٹین سو وی ویل فل دا گیپس ان دس ٹیبل پی ایچ ون So name of the substance is, uh, is a uh, concentrated or a strong acid and that is also called a hydrochloric acid. And the color of hydrochloric acid in universal indicator is red. Now orange is the universal indicator. So its piece is uh, less than one, uh, more than one, sorry. And that will be lemonade and the pH will be three. Okay. Pure water have a pH seven, we all know. And its universal indicator is green. And the last one is purple. So it indicates alkali substance. And that will be sodium hydroxide. And its speech will be probably 14. Come towards the seventh question. What is the difference between a strong acid and a concentrated acid? A very good question this is. So this is the minor difference between the strong acids and concentrated acid. A concentrated acid is the acid that depends upon the amount of water present in a solution. Okay, so concentration means more less quantity of water strong as concentrated the acid is, and more quantity of water than less concentrated the acid is. Whereas the strength of an acid depends upon the number of hydrogen ions present in it. The next part of this question is uh, describe an experiment using ethanoic acid that is vinegar and hydrochloric acid to explain your answer. So we will take antacid tablets that is probably alkaline. Then we will add vinegar and dilute hydrochloric acid on such tablets. After adding the solutions, we will see that the bubbles will be appear there, but more uh, bubbles will be produced there from the hydrochloric solution as compared to that of the vinegar. That will tell us that hydrochloric acid is stronger than vinegar. Come toward the eighth question. The table shows some acids and alkalis like hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and uh, lim uh, ammonium hydroxide. What does all the acids have in common? So we will see that all the acids have hydrogen ion is common. Okay, so all the acids have hydrogen ion is common. That's why. Hydrogen ion is common in all of them. What do all the alkali have in common? So we can see here that hydroxide ions are common in all the alkalis. The third part is how is ammonium hydroxide different from other? So ammonium hydroxide have hydrogen ions as well as hydroxide ions, both of them. What two things are produced when an acid reacts with an alkali? So salt and water is produced over there. Come towards the ninth question. Fill in the gaps using the words below chloride, nitrate, and sulfate. So hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide, it will give us sodium chloride plus water. Nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide, it will give us calcium uh, nitrate plus water. Hydrochloric acid plus ammonium hydroxide, so ammonium chloride plus water. And sulfuric acid plus potassium hydroxide, so potassium sulfate plus water will form this. Thank you so very much. This is all about our today's lecture.